48 million Americans are caring for someone over the age of 18. Most of them are family members caring for an aging parent or relative. The value of all that unpaid care is around $600 billion a year, according to the AARP. Sharon Epperson joins us right now with a look at the financial and emotional costs of that care, and it's huge. It is huge, and we're talking about the value of the work they do, but for caregivers, out-of-pocket costs for health-related and long-term care expenses are also far greater than expected. I met three siblings who are taking care of their mom at home, and we talked about the emotional and financial stress of being family caregivers. After Ernestine Taylor had a stroke four years ago, her daughter stepped in to take care of her. so good to me. Daphne, a retired project manager and oldest sister, took the lead. It was all um, a learning process. Along with sisters Sheila and Debbie, who are also retired, the three work together to provide their 87-year-old mom around-the-clock care, creating spreadsheets, managing medications, tracking her progress, and navigating expenses. We've been up and down around and about, you know, buying things that someone would suggest that you use this, this can help do this, so thousands of dollars. They've paid out of pocket for medical equipment, transportation and supplies, not covered by Medicare or insurance, including a $5,000 hospital bed. Nursing home care costs over $100,000 a year, a home health aid, 60000 And when a family member provides the care, the average spending on caregiving activities is more than a quarter of their annual income. In the last year, if you could think of what, what financial sacrifice might you have made? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been hard. It's so complicated. When you start trying to figure out even just in what we might, might, what she might be entitled to. We can just pay off our bills and stay afloat. That's a good thing, and that's what we're trying to do. Financial advisor Barry Glassman says planning ahead for long-term care can reduce some of the financial strain, but he understands few families actually do it. It's tough because a person in their 80s doesn't really know when they may need help or what help they may need, if at all. Family caregivers can get paid through some state Medicaid plans. They may also receive assistance if a loved one is a veteran. But you have to apply for these programs. We're trying to take care of our mom 24-7. There's just no way in the world um, that you have time to try and figure this all out. Piecing together finances for their mom's care has been overwhelming. But these sisters say family and faith offer the support they need on the most trying days. Experts say it's important for family members to discuss who will make health care and financial decision if an aging relative can't make those decisions for themselves. And having the legal documents that spell out who's going to take on those roles can also alleviate a lot of stress. It's very important to have those powers of attorney and the living will, all of that. I guess work that stuff out long in advance. I've yes. even seen people suggest that your college aged children do the same thing Absolutely. before they go away because at age 18 you can't get any access to any of their Both of mine have health care proxies. If anything were to happen. Absolutely. All right, so in a situation like this, um, where you're dealing with all of these costs that, that aren't covered by any of the medical programs, uh, very few people have enough money stashed away that they can actually deal with these long term expenses, manage these things. So, what can family caregivers do? if they want to try and help cut some of those costs or maybe get some assistance other places? Well, one of the things to do is to try to figure out how you're going to fund this long-term care. And insurance is one way that people are doing it if the person is under the age of 70 and relatively healthy. But when you're in a situation like many people are, well, this has happened unexpectedly and suddenly, that... If that's not there, that's not going to be possible. So looking into state Medicaid plans, if the person was a veteran or a veteran in the family, might there may be some assistance there for family caregivers. It's also really important to talk to employers about what they may be offering and, and see if they're offering flexible spending accounts, health savings accounts. The other thing that's important is to look at your tax return. If you can declare this person as a dependent, there may be some special tax breaks. You can look at the medical expenses deduction, also the dependent care credit. So important to talk to a tax professional and also go to the IRS website, irs.gov, because it has a tool that kind of can help you figure out if you're eligible to, to claim this dependent care credit. Sharon, thank you very much. Sure.